Juventus is ready for baseball. Lethal's ready to go. All right, uh, first thing I'll do today is uh, we've got a couple of emotes that are new that were approved by that were actually approved by Twitch. So we got the hype one. We've still got the Oregon Trail 2 one, which has always been a classic. And I'm going to get this one changed. It's supposed to be the Bandit King, the Tier 3 one, but I believe that it's way too small. So I'm going to get another one with the, the text removed, and it's going to be him bigger. So that's our Tier 1, 2, and 3 emojis. Until I get up to Partner, uh, we can't have any more than just three. So hopefully... That's something we can work on. So if you know friends, you need to tell them to show up. What are you sad for, Lethal? Why am I using the mouse? This is not a mouse game. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, schedule coming up. I think we're on the middle of our home, or our away streak, and we are. We're on game 67. We have the, ooh, the Nemesis. Or as Lethal politely calls them, nemesis -y. The Equators, who are vying for a spot. We And then we have back-to-back -back games with the Swoops. If Nicholas was here, he'd be giving us a hard time with that one. And then the last home game is against the Nemesis as well. Yankee Gal, I could come up with different emotes for every single game. It's just we're limited. Heck, I had to remove one of them because of the uh, the limit. More swoop slaughter. All right, so let's take a look at those standings. Right now, we're in the lead of the Central. The Chompers are four and a half games above the Buzzard. We're eight and a half over the Wild Pigs. We've solidified that, even raising the difficulty. The Grim Cats are only three games above the Equators, who we play the Equators coming up. The Streamliners and the Overdogs are five and a half apart. The other two divisions, the Central and Southern in the American League, are really close to Sirloins and Wardens and the Crocodons and Wide Loads. And that has a lot to go on because that could change drastically. The overdogs probably are not going to get a wild card spot. So it is imperative for them in that central division to uh, beat, or excuse me, in the northern division to try to catch up to the streamliners. And the wide loads are holding on and the crocodons. So the wardens are the ones who are kind of out in the no man's land right now hey try hard how you doing um on our side it's more cut and dry you have the teams that score runs except the chompers i'm not sure what's happened to them lately who are leading the league um the chompers are four and a half over the buzzards travis the unknown resubscribing for the second month in a row thank you so much travis Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for choosing me. I appreciate that. The dudes is cheering for the wardens. I see how it is. But I guess we should go ahead. Let's check out those team stats. Lethal D Feline has smoked me on hits because, well, she just doesn't miss the ball. She always hits. Uh, she's beating me in home runs now, which is kind of embarrassing. I'm getting beat by a girl. Uh, she's beating me in RBIs as well. And, of course, average, she's trying to bat 500 for the season, which is possible. She's almost at 500 on her on-base percentage, and she slugs at 95, almost 96% of what she swings at. So, what have we learned here? She even has more total bases than me. Yeah. So that's where I'm at right now. But the game's starting us off tonight. Hey, Baron Ryder, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. We have the 48 and 18 Larry Ballers on the third game of their away series. 
We learned what we always knew. We learned what we always knew. That is true. But the 48-18 Larry Ballers with J2 on the mound tonight, he's 9-3, he has the best ERA in the land. Going against the Nemesis, who are 36-30, so they're a they're they're a winning team. They have Mark Harbormouth uh, on the mound. He is six and three, so not as many wins as J2, and a 405 ERA. So he gives up a few more runs. But they are power hitters, so anything goes. Ooh, ooh, we got some beat up guys on the bench. Looks like Reaver is juiced. Lethal is jacked. The first three hitters are just regular right now. Uh, Zeros, so we're probably going to put Boxicus in for you. Let you calm down. And Travis. Do we put Z in? Yeah, we have to because no women's is hurt. So we'll go with that. Old Man Z, which I was telling him that earlier today, that he was an old man. Tomorrow if you stream World War II fans. Okay, the dudes. I will probably be streaming tomorrow, unless something bad happens. Pro tip, join the community, reddit.com slash r slash super mega baseball. How about that? All right, but here's your game of the night. First game of the night. The Larry Ballers taking on the Nemesis. I think one of the things I was talking to people in Discord today is I want to go back and I want to add city names to the teams because I think that would just really be cool if we're like, oh, we're live. We're here with the Nashville Nemesis. Not saying that I would pick Nashville for them, but I would want alliteration to flow through the league, so... Most of the teams would have city names that start with whatever they are. I don't know if the Larry Ballers would have an L team or a B team. Oh, there's a fastball from Mark Harbormouth. It's low, ball one. Why so slow? Man, I've not played this in so long. But there's a base hit to lead the game off as why so slow starts it off for the Larry Ballers. That'll bring up Captain Pete. He's batting 319. His beard is on par. On fleek, as the kids would say. And Pete smashes that one, but it goes foul. That's high by ball one. The evenings have felt empty. I'm sorry, Lethal. I will work on that. And Captain Pete gets a base hit. Two hits to lead off the night for the Larry Ballers. Nemesis pitcher, not very happy with that. And that brings up the big red machine, SKS. I, Baron Rider, I want to stay away from big cities. I want to get like smaller cities. So top 20 cities are eliminated and the big red machine hits an infield fly. And that's how he rolls. Now batting, number 86, the first Been a rough week uh, at work, so not been able to really stream that much this week. Here's Lethal D Felon. Oh, that's 0-2 already. Hmm. But there's a base hit for Lethal. Shoots it up the middle, and that will load the bases. Biloxi. The Biloxi Ballers. Or maybe there's a city called Larry. And Reaver Axis comes up. He's juiced. Base is loaded. He'll take ball one. Nemesis in a jam here. There's two balls. And there's, oh, and it's hit right, and they double it up and end the Larry Baller's threat. Three hits, three left on base, technically two. What a play. Holy crap. The Nemesis get out of a jam. And we'll come up. Nemesis, the home team, stepping in. J2 will face his first opponent. Nemesis should feel good coming out of that. And there's a hit. Captain Pete going back for it. And he'll make the catch. That's one away. The Bethlehem. The Bethlehem Ballers. I don't know if Jesus would approve of that. 
I may have to talk to some people from Canada to see if we use any Canadian names. Swing and a miss, J2 clocks his first strikeout of the evening. That brings up Javier Hatier, whose name I hate saying. He's batting 295 this year. He is on the cusp of 300. J2 delivering that ball. That dog will not sell. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Oh, there's a swing and a miss. J2 trying to get him going here. Here's fork ball. Gets it in there. That is out number three and strikeout number two for J2. The Saskatoon swoops. The Baltimore. See, Baltimore is probably in the top 23 cities. I think 23 is the cutoff because Boston's like 21 or 22. Now batting number 23. The third Here's Aaron Boxicus batting 245. Harbor Mouse got to be feeling good getting out of that first inning. Ooh, lands that strike there. One and one's the count. And there's a hit. Hatier, the second baseman, gets it, throws it over, and that's one away. Also, I have put up a poll on Twitter about the next baseball cap that I'm going to buy. Uh, so if you'd like to partake in that, jump over to Twitter and vote on that poll. It's going to be up for three days. One and one here to Z. Ooh, Z takes ball two, two and one to Z. Swing and a miss Z. His arthritis is acting up again. And that one's hit, but not enough. It looks like the left, right fielder is going to get under that one. And that is two outs here in the top of the second. Here's Azur Alliance. He's been on a hot streak lately. Um, actually, I found a cap that would fit us, but try hard where I have a green screen, you wouldn't be able to see it. So... I had to eliminate all green caps. And Azur Alliance smokes that. And that's going to get past the right fielder. It rolls back to the wall. It's going to come off. Here comes the throw in. Azur is heading to third. It's going to be close. Is he going to get there? He slides and he's safe with a two out triple. Now batting number two. 29. Well, I may have to eliminate some. And that brings up J2 John Jeremy. A hit here will help his cause. He'll foul that one away just a little behind it. And that's hit right to the first baseman, and that should end the threat, and it does. The ballers leave one more stranded on base. We go to the bottom of the second. Zero to zero. Hercules Bentley, Log Freely, and Stacy Staples do up for the nemesis. We tried the invisible shirt and cap once, I think, for Halloween. It was it was very bad. I'm sure it was Captain Pete's idea or something. That's fouled off. The one and one here to Bentley. J2 trying to find his mark. That one's popped up. Azur going back for it. And Azur was way off. That somehow hit like the upper part. And there's another strikeout. Strikeout number three for J2. That brings up Log Freely. That's hit right back to J2. He'll toss it over to Lethal. That's two away in the bottom of the second. Here's Stacy Staples. This game's got a weird flow to it right now. I can't really make it out, but it just feels different. Oh, she was fooled on that one. Got, got a piece of it. Fouls it off. There's ball one. Swing and a miss there. Hmm. Oh, that's a terrible pitch. He'll foul it off. Full count. Go foul that one off. That one's barely hit. Lethal picks it up, steps on the base, and that will end the inning. We go to the third. Four hits for the ballers. None for the nemesis. No runs. Top of the lineup. Due up. Newark nemesis. Now batting number 47, the left. We have to look at what divisions they're in also, guys. That one's hit well. Not well enough. I got all excited. Here's Captain Pete. He's one for one tonight. He's locked in now already. He's pumped up. He's ready to go. 
He'll take one way inside, ball one. There's two and oh. And there's another base hit for Pete. He's two for two tonight. He'll trot down the first. He'll cheer. He'll stroke his beard to the crowd. Everybody's happy. Then he remembers we're away, and the Nemesis fans start throwing bricks at him. Here's SKS trying to fix his problem from last inning. And that's hit straight to the first baseman, and that is a double play. Oh, my Lord. A three. Four, three, double play. And another runner stranded on base. Now batting, and that brings up Churl Dangerfield. He gets no respect. You can still get one. Uh-oh, that one's hit well, but it slides over to the right. It hits the janitorial door. And J2 gets another one, his fourth K of the night. Here's Flash Leather, extraordinary defensive player. He'll swing at strike one. Waco wide loads. Another strike. J2 just on it today. And there's another one. His fifth K of the night. That brings up Mark Harbormouth. That's the pitcher. J2 sides. Oh, that's popped up. Azura Alliance underneath it. We'll make the catch. And that ends the third. We go to the fourth. Lethal D Feline, Reaver Axis, and Aaron Boxicus do up. Now batting, number 492 average for Lethal. Lethal, if you weren't batting so much, would you still be watching? There's ball one. Inside and another base hit. That was hit off the hands almost. Hits it down the center. My lord. My lord. Oh lord. The Savannah Sirloins. That's not bad. Reaver Axis. Looks at ball one. Nice eye there. Hit well, but just a little ahead of it. And that one's hit the center. It's got a chance to get over. No, Lethal will retreat. That's one out. The Reaver coming to the game pumped up, but no delivery so far. And that'll bring up Aaron Boxicus. We'll foul that off to the right. 0 oh, and 1 count moves to. There's another one. Oh, hit right to the short second baseman. Throws it over, but Lethal gets back just in time, and that makes it two outs. And that brings up Z Striker. And Z puts a base hit in the center field. So that's going to put two on with two outs. Mm -mm. And Lethal Feline is hurt, prodding in the second on that hit. And they're chain, or was that them? Oh, that might have been Javier Hotier, because they're taking him out. We may have dodged a bullet there. I just saw the uh, the uh, fitness go down. So Jock Sports comes in. Oh, so it's Hotier. Okay, so Lethal's fine. I was worried. That one's high, but the left fielder will get under it, and the ballers are going to strand. Two more. Seven hits. No runs produced by the ballers as the Nemesis defense holds steady. Top of the order, due up for the Nemesis. Now batting, number 57, the third base. Here's strike one. Now they're swinging a miss there. Oh, we didn't get the call. And a swing and a miss. Stick strike out of the night for J2, John Jeremy. Fort Wayne Freebooters. That one's popped up. Why so slow goes back for it. Calls for it. That's two outs. That'll bring up Jock Sports. He come in for Javier Hotier. That's going to be the first hit of the night is, I think, a piece of the turf. <laughs> a piece of the turf was split up there, and it launched the ball. And Jock Sports is now injured with a stubbed toe. 
I don't know if they got anybody to substitute in for him now, though. That's fouled off. That one's hit well. And Z comes in to make the catch. So we go to the top of the fifth. Eight hits between the two teams. Seven of them belong to the ballers, but no runs. Day two, John Jeremy, and the turn of the order do up. Now Day two is on fire. Number two, the pitcher. He wiggles. And that's going to be a base hit for J2. The Loveland Larry Ballers. Oh, my God. Hey, Grimmeth, how are you doing tonight? Here's Why So Slow stepping in. J2 on first. And that one's hit well, but the left fielder is underneath it. Daffy, thank you so much. You've almost been a sub for as long as a baby takes to make. Thank you so much. Thank you for choosing me. I appreciate it. 2-0 oh to Pete. Pete fouls that one off. The count of move to 2-1. and one. Three and one to Pete. A Twitch baby soon, that's true. Oh, and he hits Captain Pete. On the fourth ball, he made it count and Pete will trot down. Oh man. That's ball one, SKS 0 for two tonight. Ooh, there's a strike. Fouled off 0 and two, or one and two, excuse me. And that's gonna, oh, he scooped it, throw to first. And SKS is 0 for three tonight. So two on, runners in scoring position, lethal felines, two for two tonight, two outs, top of the fifth. High ball. Hey, mother love, how are you doing? Down low, two and oh. And that's gonna be a base hit. That's going to bring in at least two runs. Lethal takes first. Here comes the second one in. And that's a two-run lead for the Larry Ballers. That is, oh, Lethal was going for the steal there, but Reaver fouling it off. Oh, that's a wicked hit. And that will be out number three. The ballers get two, though. It's took them five innings and nine hits to do so. But Log Freely, Stacy Staples, and Cheryl Dangerfield do up for the nemesis. Uh, Sefi, no. They, they changed all the refs. They have no personality. They took a lot of personality out of the game. J2 having a very good night. Uh-oh, that one's... Oh, out of the reach, J2. SKS scoops it, throws, one away. I had to bring up Stacy Staples. She's 0 for 1. J2 John Jeremy having an amazing season. We'll see if he demands a trade at the end of the year. And there's another strikeout for J2. That brings up Churl Dangerfield. Even the female ref on this game just seems like a generic ref. And I, ooh, he's just <laughs> called strike three. That is the eighth strikeout of the night for J2. We go to the top of the sixth. Boxicus, striker, Alliance, you up. Get hype. Now batting, number Get hype for Boxicus. Hype. Boxicus hitting that one long, hitting that one deep. Is it going to make it? No, out at the warning track. Now that, number 50, the right field. Grimma stays hype. And is that going to be a base hit? Center fielder on the run. Z robbed of a hit as Dangerfield is there. Now that, We've hit a few. 26. Here's Azura Alliance. He has a triple on the night. Did not score, though. We'll take ball one. 
Harbor Mouse a little tense. And that's going to go under the left leg of the pitcher. That's a base hit for Zur. Here's J2 John Jeremy. He is jacked up and ready to go. Fouled that one off. Underneath it, pops it up, and that should retire the side. And it will. Jock Sports there with the catch. And we'll come to the turn of the lineup for the Nemesis. Here's Flash Leather. Wing and a miss there. Another swing and a miss. Ooh, we fouled that off. Another strikeout. That's nine on the night. Mark Harbormouth, the pitcher. Oh, they're taking him out. They're bringing in Jackie Slam, the pinch hit. He'll foul that one off. Pops that up. Azura Alliance is back for it. Ump's watching. He'll have a word. The word is out. Hito Moonshotta steps in. Oh, and right out of the hands of Boxicus. And that will be the second hit of the night for the Nemesis. That brings up Yavi Yadder. That's dangerous as a runner on first. Swing and a miss on that. That one's hit well. SKS flops, cannot get to it. Runners are going to move to third. Throw comes in. And that will be a single. The runners on the corners now. The Nemesis bat starting the lineup. Here's Jock Sports. He suffered a little injury earlier in the game. Let's see if that affects his hitting. And that ball's hit well. That's going to be a chance. It's foul. Barely. And he'll pop the second one up. Playable by Azur. And that ends the threat. Huck and Duck coming in the pitch for the Nemesis. That's true, Grimoth. Top of the order due up. Why so slow? He's one for three today. It takes strike one. And that is, oh, nice slide by Sports. Let's see if he can make the throw. And why so slow outruns it. Here's Captain Pete. He's two for two. He has two singles on the night, and he was hit earlier. And that's hit well. Oh, and that's going to escape into the outfield. A third hit of the night for Captain Pete. So the ballers threatening again, and here comes SKS. He's 0 for 3 today, though. We'll take ball one. Hollow at your ballers. That one's hit well. That one's going toward the right field wall. It's over it for a three-run shot. 413 feet, his 30th of the year, his 69th, nice, RBI of the year. Now batting, number 86. Holla for your baller. That brings up Lethal Feline. And Lethal smacks that one into the outfield, and that's going to be off the wall. That's at least a double. Lethal will stand up. As she goes into, and there's no outs in the top of the second, seventh, and the ballers still pushing here. Ooh, Reaver almost going on that one. Ooh, called strike on the inside corner. That's a bouncer. That will put Reaver out. The lethal moves over to third, and that brings up Boxicus, who's also over three today. So some hitters going. Some just not. There's ball one. That one's hit to the outfield. Probably going to be caught. Lethal tags up, is heading for home, and she'll get in there. That is an R a sack fly RBI for Boxicus. So the ballers all of a sudden go from no hardly any runs to putting up mass numbers.
trickled down the third baseline, throw, and Z is not going to outrun that. I really thought about lethal stealing home and they button, but I didn't have to. So 14 hits all of a sudden. The Ballers have six. Nemesis, Bentley, Freely, Staples do up. Now batting number 46, the first baseman. That's a bad pitch. Hit well, but foul. Need to trade for Ricky Henderson. I'm pretty sure that Lethal is leading the league in steals, though. Uh-oh, ground ball. Reaver on it. Throw to first. One out. Log Freely steps up. He's 0 for 2 today. Pops that one up. Reaver is underneath it. And he'll get the second out of the day. Stacy Staples, she's also 0 for 2. Lots of O's in the game as J2 having a magnificent game. Give up a few hits last inning. Oh, nice glove by Boxicus. Throw to first. Robs the hit away from her. And we go to the eighth inning. Azur, J2, why so slow? Here's Azure Alliance. He's locked in. And that's going to be a base hit to the gap. Azure's going to add to his base total. He rounds first. He heads the second. And he'll be in there. That's a no out. Top of the eighth hit for Azure Alliance. And that will bring up J2 John Jeremy. And they're going to take out Huck and Duck and bring in Lawrence Wimple, the closer, to try to stop this. Oh, it's fouled off. Out of play. One and one to J2. And J2 pops that one up. Is it going to be playable? She makes the catch against the chicken wire. That brings up why so slow. He's two for four. Oh, he almost gets hit on that one. Wimple going inside. And that one's going to be hit toward the gap. It's got a chance to score some runs. Here comes one at least. And that's going to be a double RBI. And that's going to bring up the hard part of the lineup. Here is Captain Pete, three for three today. And he crushes that one, but he goes foul. Oh, hits the railing. That one's going to not get through a dive by Flash Leather. And Pete is retired for the first time today. Now batting, number 22, the second baseman. Here's SKS. Three RBIs on that one hit. It was quiet until then. He'll take one high. Two outs here in the top of the eighth. That one's hit well. It's going toward the fence. Can the right fielder get back to it? He dives. He doesn't get to it. I don't know why the runner at third's not going, but he's going now. And that's going to be the fourth RBI of the day knocked in from SKS. And unfortunately for the pitcher, that brings up Lethal Feline. Batting 498. One and one. Fouled off. One and two's the count. Oh, and a swing and a miss. I was so there. Oh. <laughs> I was on. Ah. Dangerfield Leather Wimple. Oh. Now batting number 26, the center fielder. If you hit the way you have been, I mean, you're batting like 750 a game. Oh, how'd he get a piece of that one? Oh, up, uh, have a word. There it is. Tenth strike out of the day for J2. Flash Leather steps in. Terrible swing. That's embarrassing. Popped up. SKS slowly going back for it. Finally gets under it. He'll make the play two away in the bottom of the eighth. Now back, number 
And they're going to substitute the closer Wimple for Mash Taters in the bat. He'll pop that up. Azur going for it. We'll make the catch, and that ends the inning. We go to the ninth. Uh, we got a couple of guys who are 0 for 4, so I'm going to sub both of them. Let's bring in Ballas. And then let's bring in... Zeros is down, but we'll let him give a chance. That one's hit well, but straight to the left fielder. That brings up Zeros McBirthday. He's tense. He'll look at, oh, strike one call. Strike two. And a terrible, terrible at bat there. Here's Z, one for four today. That one's hit well. Z puts it in the gap. Z's going to round first. He's heading for second. And he'll slide in there. And that's a ninth inning hit for Z. A two-hit game. He's got to feel proud. And that brings up the ever-dangerous Azura Alliance. The quiet night at the end of the lineup. Ooh, that was quite all right. Right to the first baseman. And that will... Retire the ballers for the day unless a miracle happens. It is the top of the order for the nemesis. Moonshotta, Yotter, and Sports. But J2, the way he's going today, I don't know what's going to happen here. Anticipated, but it goes foul. That's in the stands. Nice curveball. That one's popped up. Azure behind it. No, Grimoth, if it got really bad, I'd put J2 in so he could take the blame. Yavi Otter steps in. Swing and a miss there. Bad curveball. That's ground ball. Ballas is there. Ballas will get it. Throw to first. Two away. I said double J, not J2. Too many J's. And too many twos. Ground ball, lethal, picks it up, but it's foul. Did I say J2 for J2? Cod Ubel J. Eh. And J2 ended on a strikeout here. No. Well, oh, ice pick your throw. Oh my god, Grimmon! And a swing and a miss, J2 with his 11th strikeout of the day, and the Larry Ballers take a win. Eighteen hits, eight runs. Perhaps we should up the ego by a couple. Thirty at bats for the Nemesis, eleven strikeouts. J2 picks up his 10th win of the year. Harbor Mouth will take the loss. He improved his ERA, really. He only gave up two earned runs. It was N Duck who gave up the five that really left, left it going. Uh, the last loss was against the Blowfish. We, bought, we lost to them in game 61. J2, John Jeremy with the shutout. Give up three hits as your player of the game, 11 strikeouts. SKS, two for five, a home run, four RBIs, and a run himself, and then Lethal D Feline, four for five. Oh my God, it's not. Okay, if I don't up it, you all will judge me. If I do up it, you all will judge me. I don't know what to do. Devin with a two month sub. Hashtag pitcher gate is real. Pitcher gate is real. Thank you, Seven. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. 
Let me let me sing the Golden Girls theme. Thank you for being a friend. Something something. I don't know the other lyrics. You're a pal and a confidant. I didn't even pay attention to what's happened. I was so excited. Eight and one, the cockatoos not helping the warden's cause. Here's a game between the bottom dwellers of the league. It's all teeth getting their 30th win of the season, though. Let's see what's changed. Streamliner still up five games. Ooh, the crocodons and wide loads are a half a game apart. And the sirloins and wardens are a game and a half. On the other side, it's a little more cut and dry. Four games, Chompers lead, Larry Baller's up eight and a half, and the Equator's down three and a half to the Grimcats. We play the Equators next. I'll go up one. How about that? Actually, 